video and things have changed since then. Technologies have changed. Techniques have changed. So I got lucky enough. I found a fantastic model again with super long, thick, virgin hair. And we've decided today to go in with a slightly different technique because we're using a slightly different product. Uh, as you can see, just real quick to hit on, we're doing our sectioning off of her natural part, the one that she came in with, because I wanted to make sure that how she styles it is how this ombre is going to be seen. Because, you know, we can ask them where the part is, but it's going to be best if we can actually go off of the part that they created. So four sections off of the natural part. In the back, I am starting off very similar uh, to the last video. My first section is going to include below the occipital, that whole nape. Really just uh, using the technique that I referred to in the last video. It's called force perspective. And what it is, is it's a way of creating dimension on a two-dimensional uh, plane. So we've got this flat plane of her hair, and I'm using the lightener and just painting the outsides of that section and allowing them to come together on their own in that force perspective kind of view. So what that's going to do is it's going to create the gradation for me that you like to see when observing an ombre. You want it to fade from her natural into the lighter ends pretty seamlessly, so you're going to want a really nice steady gradation. And my preferred way of doing it is through the force perspective. Uh... The size of the sections that you take is going to determine exactly how fast that gradation is going to happen. As you can see, I've got hairline to hairline for that section. So that means wherever I'm painting lightener is where that highlight is going to be. The one difference between this ombre and the one from the last video is in this one, we're creating highlights that actually run a little closer to her scalp and don't necessarily all start down the mid shaft of the hair. I wanted to be able to give her something that still felt like a highlight when, you know, she ran her hands through it or looked herself in the mirror and really just, you know, I, I sort of blend together a true balayage highlight that ends up flowing into an ombre through the ends. I want to talk a little bit about the product that we're using because as you can see, that's, that's a pretty heavy hand that I got going on there. For this particular uh, application, I used Sunlight's lightener. It's a special balayage lightener. Uh, Candy Shaw Codner, the or Candy Shaw, sorry, the Bali Lama herself. This is her company. Uh, we hooked up with her at the Millennium event last year, and you know she wanted us to try her product, and I've been playing with it, and it's really fantastic. It's a clay-based lightener, so it sticks to the hair as you apply it, but as it sticks to the hair, it almost diffuses itself, which gives you the freedom to go in there and apply much thicker sections. As you can see, in my last video, I did very, very fine sections because I was using a different lightener. Uh, this one, with that clay base, it's grabbing on, and even though those look like really hard lines, you just got to trust me, they naturally diffuse themselves out. So it's a really, really great lightener. It's meant only for balayage. Uh, it's not meant for use in foils. She also... Uh, came out with this roll of saran wrap that I personally am not very uh, skilled when it comes to working with saran wrap. It gets caught up in the static and makes a big old mess. And before you know it, I'm, I'm, I've wrapped myself up and it's a mess. But Candy Shaw, uh, the one that she sells with her Bali box, that's sort of a, an introductory into the world of Sunlight's Lightener, it is a, uh, a roll of saran wrap that actually has perforations in it. So you can rip it one-handed and it just makes it much easier to work with. In this case, it's not incubating, it's really just separating to make sure that I can work quickly without having to worry about my sections touching anything else that they're not intended to, and therefore not creating spots and bleed marks and stuff like that. So I'm just using the, the brush and the paddle that both also come in the body box. It's just all, it's a little, it's a system. And when you use it all together, it really helps give really great, fast, application times and a really great end result. So as you can see, I'm still taking those triangle sections. And what you want to make sure you do, because you get to decide where this blonde is going to come together. The blonde is going to come together wherever on that section you pinch your fingers together. Because once you pinch that triangular section, your hand shouldn't move. So you've got, you know, in your non-dominant hand, you're painting, I mean, you're, you're pinching the section 
And then with your brush hand, you're creating those lines along the outside of the section that come together wherever your fingers are pinched. Right there, you can see it's out down towards the ends. And you paint those edges. And then when they're going to come together naturally at your finger. So if you want a much, much heavier blonde and a much less base color in there, then you're going to pinch much closer to the root. Because however close to the root you are is where that blonde is going to come together and then be blonde from there through the ends of the hair. As you can see, I'm working around her face, which is where you want to get some of the brightest because the actual effect of this really is to give a very a sunlightened effect. And everyone's always a little bit lighter. Even here, you can see her natural is just a, a, a shade, a half a shade lighter up around the face. So I just want to accentuate that and create a nice, strong, painted highlight around the face. Not going quite all the way up to the scalp because it is still supposed to be an ombre. I want it I wanted to get it close enough so that when she's done it's going to give a pretty decent overall shift to her natural base color, but I wanted to still do it, you know, far enough away that it's a it's technically an ombre. As I got to the sections closer to the part, that's when my section started getting closer to the root. All the way to the point where when I get to the part, that highlight will run right up to the root because, again, if you think about where the hair was sitting on the head as it was being lightened by the sun, where it would continue to be lightened by the sun versus where it would start to grow out. So working there, using that paddle as, the, as my backboard, that, that clay-based lightener really just gives a fantastic stick. It doesn't swell. It doesn't bleed. When you mix it to the proportions that you're supposed to, it just gives an absolutely fantastic consistency. That just It's a lot of fun to work with. It's great on longer hair, shorter hair, any, any, any hand painting work that you want to do. It really is just a, a superior lightener. Uh, another side note of something that cannot be seen that is also being used in this process in with my Sunlight's Lightener, I have mixed in Olaplex, which is the new bond multiplier that really, to me, has just completely changed the game. It's, it's insane. It is going to go in there and help to not only prevent damage as you're lightening the hair, but actually reverse some of the previous damage from previous chemical services, be it lightening or whatever else they've done to their hair. It's going to go in and it's going to multiply the bonds that need to be there while eliminating the bonds that are not supposed to be there that naturally occur through color services. So I think there's been a little confusion with people in the past. They they assume that adding Olaplex to their lightener is going to allow them to get lighter. It doesn't allow you, it doesn't make your lightener stronger. It's just going to allow you to maybe take it that extra step, you know, where Maybe you're doing foil work or hand painting work or somebody on someone, and you kind of want to you want to chill out. You're a little worried that uh, you know you don't want to leave those foils in any longer because you can tell that the integrity of the hair is in question, even though it's not as light as you want to go. This is going to make it so that you can actually take the hair as light as you want to, and the integrity of the hair is going to be absolutely fantastic. You may have noticed I'm still blonde and my hair is still getting longer, and it's because of Olaplex. So. Anytime I touch a lightener, that's definitely in there because it's made my job so much more successful because now I can truly give people what they want without worrying about hurting their hair. So we're finishing up here, Vanessa. Hand painting. By the way, that's the, the model's name. This is my beautiful, lovely sister-in-law, Vanessa, who has never had her hair colored and let me bully her into coming in and being my model for this video. So big shout out to Vanessa. You're my fave. Um, finishing up, we're right up at that part now, so this last section is definitely going to be nice and close to the part because I wanted to have that nice face frame and the highlight. And then we're not going to watch processing or blow drying because it takes several hours because that is a lot of hair. But we got everything protected, everything's covered with the saran wrap so that we can watch it and see how it's lifting and when it's time to take it out. Uh, I want to say she processed for close to 45 minutes and then we toned her out. And then we got this beautiful ombre. We wanted something nice and rich and warm and 
just really pretty. She looks good with the warmer colors, so we definitely gave it to her. And you can see there's just tons of movement and tons of energy in there. And she absolutely loves it. And she looks gorgeous. It just adds a little something extra to her hair without making her not feel like herself. So thanks, guys. Be sure to check us out at freesaloneducation.com. If you got any questions, let us know. Thanks. Bye.